is up, the ladies and gentlemen, it's Power Shit Thousand here. Welcome to another video of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. So this will be like a, a special type of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 video because I'm gonna be, uh, remember the All Life 5th Fest where I participated in that with Ami? Unexpectedly, at that time when I arrived, Hoshimachi to Shirakami Puyo Teto Yaroze. Pretty much like, uh, Suisei and Fubuki's like whole, uh, playing with them. At Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, which uh, by the way I was uh, there, you can pretty much see that I'm literally over there. Like I'm the one who's literally holding the like stick. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't. We did not get picked at all. I'm gonna be fe using the characters that's gonna be featured in the Hall of Fifth Fest. We're gonna be using the characters from the Hall of Fifth Fest, and especially with the exact same rules, we're gonna do swap mode. No CPU, only one. Now the thing is like. Like, we're gonna do every single one. It's gonna be like a four battle kind of thing. Like, each one is basically like, yeah, basically win two times and then that's it. Basically swap, use the exact same characters as what the Hall Life fan and the Hall Life members, basically Suisei and Fubuki used. I was planning on doing it with Ame, but he's not active for now. So I'm gonna do this myself. So hope you guys are excited for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, rush to the like, subscribe, ring the bell button, get notified of my upcoming video streams, and the comment content, leave it in the comment section below. It yeah, on your opinion about like the fifth best Puyo Puyo Tetris like with Suzy and Pupuke, ignore that by the way. Anyways, with that being said, let's get on with it. So the first battle was with uh, Suisei, right? Now let's check the thing. Okay, so the first one was Hoshiomi versus Suisei. And then Hoshiomi, yeah, I'm gonna be the fan and then we're fighting the character the CPU will be the characters. The CPU will be the Hall Life member, basically Suisei or Fubuki. So the first one was the Hoshiomi, basically Suisei's fan, basically uh, using Sakana Oji or basically the, o the Ocean Prince. And with that being said, uh, yeah. All right. First of all, Ocean Prince. And then Suisei uses Rulu. Where is he? Oh, there it is. So it's gonna be swap mode, and then gonna be default. the The song should be this. Like they don't have any specific songs that they use. So I'm gonna try to, like, uh, try to similarize that to the Fifth Fest. So I wanna. I want to make sure that it's kind of similar to that. So with that being said, look, like I don't know like why I can't speak today. <laughs> Just maybe that I haven't recorded videos in a long time, but whatever. I'm not. It's not gonna be like a precise like a precise mimic to the actual fest itself, since I've already know how to play this game. Like, duh. Never gonna. There we go. So far, so good. It's, yeah, like I said before, guys, it's not gonna be, gotta be a complete mimic to the uh, uh, the fifth fest thing because it's it's impossible to mimic the whole thing. Like, it has to be set up if that's the case. Like, you have to set it up for a complete, like, 100% mimic. Anyways, so... Yeah, I'll try to win as much as possible, but, uh, that's the whole point of me playing to win. And, of course, like, it's been a while since I played this game. I kind of missed it. It would be a great excuse to basically like brag to everybody. I didn't know that I played against either Fubuki or Suisei. Unfortunately, I did not get be. I was not able to play against any of them. But at least, like, I was still there and I still got featured in some of like the whole life. I was featured in that stream. In that, in that stream of the whole life thing. In that whole life stream, the. The first day, I got featured in that one. 
I was freaking happy. The both, the both of us, me and Ami, were freaking screaming at the top of our lungs. Like, bro. Get rid of that. I should have got rid of that. Like, crap. Should have got rid of that green before. Get rid of that blue somehow, some way. That's supposed to be a green. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. Imagine if me or Ame would be playing this against Araoshi, we would create a scene. Like, like one, one time that they said that we need some gachi players, basically serious players, who's basically a freaking pro in this game, and I'm basically one of the Indonesia's Puyo Puyo pro player. Could you imagine if I fought there against one of them, one of the all members? I would create a, a freaking scene. Everybody would scream like, "Huh? Like, Nani? <laughs> Something like that ish." But, but but yeah, it would be really crazy if I actually made a scene like that. But anyways, that was the first one. The second one is uh, let's see here. So the first one was yeah, uh, Hoshiomi. Second one is supposed to be a skombu. Next one, the Skombu versus Shirakami Fubuki. Skombu uses Torako Kentaros, and then Fubuki uses uh, Kabankuru. Alright, should be simple. Okay. Okay. So basically, we're doing this combo versus Fubuki. So yeah, before it was it was Suisei, and now this is Fubuki's thing. Could you imagine if I can actually like synthesize like this whole like whole live like expo thing match? It would be insane. If that's the case, I can basically judge like the performance, like actually. Like what did what did they do wrong and then what did they do right? Either Hollow Life or the fan. Whichever it is, I can basically judge the performance. I'm gonna have to let that go. But unfortunately not, but it is what it is, I guess. I thought that would connect for a second, but no, it didn't. I'm gonna do this and hopefully do a T spin. But this. Not bad, not bad, I don't think it. Basically, once you're in Puyo Puyo, you, you basically spell the Doom for Tetris Basically, if you're playing Puyo Puyo, you basically spell Doom for Tetris players. Unless you are very fast on Tetris, and then that would be a completely different story because, you know, like the, the thing for Puyo Puyo and Tetris, there's a, a very large power scale, you can kind of say. 
because the power skill between Puyo Puyo and Tetris is super duper wide. And why am I saying that? Okay, here's my reasoning. Like, you will need a lot of chain just to basically win in Puyo Puyo against Tetris players where they need super speed, which could be a... Yeah, if you don't have enough speed, basically, let's say, for example, this kind of speed, nah, you will not win against that, see? This is, this is what you could consider slow, and this, for Puyo, for Tetris Pro Player, which I'm still not, by the way, this is still slow as frick. This is sl still slow as a snail. Mark my words. That is still slow. For J Japanese players, that is still slow. To me, that is slow. There is a large difference between Puyo Puyo and Tetris, and that is why that that speed that I just demonstrated to you just now, that was one of us basically still slow. Okay. Uh, there we go. You will need to be super duper fast, and I'm talking like Amemiya Tayo fast. Like they can just drop it in an instant without a second thought. Basically like that. You have to basically keep dropping it and keep on comboing and comboing. That's one thing of using Tetris uh, efficiently as a pro. But anyways. Yeah, you can basically see the different power differences between Puyo Puyo and Tetris. So that's why it's super duper unbalanced where Puyo Puyo literally spells the demise of Tetris. Anyways, so we've done Fuki. Well, and then after that, there's two more. One more uh, Suisei and one more Fubuki. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, where's the... <coughs> okay, we've done that. Next up is another Suisei. No, this is the Fubuki. And me screaming, Ore, please. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We don't look at that, how the fan disrespected Suisei like that. No, 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 that's, that's an honor. Okay, it's double Rurue. Double Rulu. So since it's the exact same characters, I think most likely is that probably that it's gonna one is gonna be the normal voice and then one is gonna be the alternate voice. Or not. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. And luck is also a thing in this game. Like, you can pretty much see that you need luck to get the correct Puyos or Tetraminos. And I just made a mistake, didn't I? Whoops. Well, I didn't exactly made a mistake. Should be alright. And I'm gonna let this drop so I can try to combo. If possible, that is. Can I get a purple? She already blocked my shot. Well, there goes my opportunity. The thing is, I don't think that Suisei played very seriously in that expo. The thing is, Suisei could do much better than what at the expo did. I think that she actually hold back. The thing is, if you watch the expo stream, or you were at the expo, you can tell that Suisei held back against the fan. You can clearly tell that she held back. Um, great. Okay, so let's see here. 
Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick and show you the video. You can clearly tell that, well, she is kind of not holding back on the Tetris. But the thing is that I know my Oshi real well that she could be a little bit more faster. So I'm guessing that she held back a little bit. By the way, uh, don't look at the disrespect that <laughs> he did to Suisi. But you can clearly tell by Suisi's performance that time. By the way, we should feel that we did not get picked. By the way, congrats to that man getting like the, you know what, the mention that he deserved from his Oshi. Well, we can pretty much tell that Suisei's Vorte is in Puyo, uh, Tetris than Puyo Puyo. But then this, we can clearly see that her speed of doing things in Tetris right now is kind of held back. I'm guessing that's a good opportunity to let them like see, like to let them, the fans get an opportunity to shine. I guess that's the case. By the way, this freaking stack that CC is doing right now is freaking ridiculous. A six on purple, yellow, and red. That is monstrosity for one chain. What num that's the second chain. And look at the damage. That's just ridiculous. Uh, if you did not see just now, uh, by the way. It was this thing. I'm, I'm sorry that I did not show that just now. This freaking six purple, yellow, and a red, and that's the second chain, by the way. That's rebunculous. Anyways, I lost one match, and that's that's fine. I couldn't get a perfect streak if I wanted to. If I lost, that's fine. It doesn't matter if I win or lose. I'm just doing this project just for fun. I may have not should have done that. Oof. Although I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that uh, CPU Rulwe is not something to laugh at. She is pretty strong, so I gotta be extra careful. Yeah, even CPU Rulwe is not something to laugh at. You could get body like I just did before. So I got a really extra focus. It's because of her doing the swap combos instead of me. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do this. Time for revenge. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, my thing stopped. I guess I messed up in Puyo Puyo. That's that's why. I think I messed up one of my change in Puyo Puyo. It didn't continue for a second. Alright, that's a Zen Keshi. Indeed. Easy Zen Keshi. Or all clear in English. I'm getting used to Japanese pronunciations now. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ame, for uh, explaining that <laughs> to me. Back at the expo. Zenkeshi. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, oh, I was about to put that there. Ah, I've already messed up. Dang it. Whatever. Ow. I can still do that. <laughs> still got the Zen Keshi buff. Oh, I was about to make a mistake. No. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I should have had a purple there. Ah, uh, what? She's as good as dead if she messes up. Uh, 
Okay. There's no way she's countering every single one of those. Okay, so we've done uh, the basically we've done all of Suisei's thing. So basically we've done the Suisei battle, and now for the last uh, Fubuki battle, which is uh, so it's gonna be uh, what is it gonna be? It's Fubuki, yeah. Skombu uses Sig, and then Fubuki uses Carbuncle again. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, so we're gonna change characters again. Skombu uses Sig. I remember that being. I mean, freaking did the Yaruzo at the whole expo. It was actually freaking hilarious. Alright! So that's gonna be it. Yeah. This is gonna be the last battle, folks. So hope you have enjoyed today's video. It's gonna be it's really a special short one. With some words mix up because it's been a while since I have not made a video and I'm <laughs> so nervous. I would be super nervous if I was pecked at the expo, dude. Like I would have been shaking. Like could you imagine if I was if me or Ami got picked to battle our Oshi, like, we would scream! <laughs> Could that be possible? That would be the first time, like, an Indonesian IRL battling against either Fubuki or Suisei? Like, I could make history! But if I was picked though, that's the thing, if I was picked. Anyways, I was there the whole time, I was at the, I was basically in Japan, Japan there's two, of course, and I was basically at the, I was basically, you know, having a lot of freaking great time there. Like, you can clearly see it. Like, let me show you the bit. Well, with no volume, by the way. Like, you can clearly see that I went there. Like, you can clearly see. Let's do a little bit of small watch along of the stuff. There's literally, like, the whole mascot. And then, I was literally there. Like, you can clearly see me that I was literally there. And all of these Hall of Fans are amazing. The mascot of... Miko Danye, Small Ame, and then Udin. And then we have the Electone Hive Mori Luna, which is actually pretty nice. Pretty fancy though. And then we try to find the Puyo Puyo Teto 2 like spot. And then we managed to find, found, we found it. And then we were, we were in utter shock that we're actually here. Like, notice that there's a lot of, a lot of them. You can clearly tell. I, I was definitely surprised. Like, I was definitely about to faint when I saw Suisa and Fubuki on stage, the, on the big screen there. B basically, not to mention, like, you know, I would be starstruck if Suisa picked me. I was having a time of my life. I did not care if I get picked or not. But if I would get picked, that um um that's what I'd be. <laughs> but it was a it was an absolute blast to watch anyway. We had a great time. Not not yeah, absolutely a fantastic time. Oh man, I had a great time though. But that mistake just now that I made was not great. The 
don't worry, fixed it. <laughs> Mistakes made, don't worry, fixed it. Literally, that's what I did. Just now. Oh, I was about to do the T-spin, bro. Anyways, so that is pretty much it, folks, for the Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Uh, uh, whole life fifth fest concept. You can kind of say it like that. I need to know how to title this video. How do I freaking title this video? But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video session. This is going to be a special one. It definitely only features this. It definitely only features how the concept of this whole like thing works. It's basically I play of I just play like becoming the fan and I would like synthesize not like similarize how they play against the the whole members, which I did not do. <laughs> basically I won every single battle that just did. So basically the thing that happened was that uh well duh, I did the kill Mokawa A on Suisse, by the way. And we were there. Like, you can clearly, clearly see me that I, like, look at that. I even said, hey everyone, I'm on TV. I'm on the Whole Life Official channel. That's literally what I said on this freaking edit. And then again, hey everyone, I'm on TV again on the Whole Life Official channel. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm going to be linking the stream and the Whole Life Official channel in the description below, so please check it out. So let's see, like, let's just see like how it went before. So basically, like you can clearly see that the Hoshiyomi uh, lost. But I'm mistaken, right? So let's see how it went. Let's just watch how it went before. So the first Hoshiyomi lost. And then the second was a Skombu, which apparently turns out to be a uh, Omaru Polka fan. <laughs> You know what? Uh, a fox, a snow fox, and a fennec fox, you know? The Kitsune fans, I guess? <laughs> fennec fox and Kitsune, I guess. <laughs> well, makes sense. So basically, the first one is Suisei's win, and then the second one would be uh, Sukombu's win, if I'm not mistaken, right? I don't memorize any of the fans' names, I'm sorry, but I hope you, got, hope you had a great time. On the expo, by the way, that day was amazing. Tetori no mama. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> but it was amazing, though. How it all went down and some messed up parts, you know? I'm gonna try to cut some parts. So it doesn't get too long. And by the way, thanks, Ame, for teaching me Zen Keshi, the term. So, basically, uh, what happened was that Fubuki already lost, but it was about to lose. It's just the fact that Fubuki's Tetris board was not doing so hot. And then Sukombu won. And then you, you literally see me screaming Ore. And then someone was doing a, a mimic of Hikakin. <laughs> uh, I was a... You, you know what? What the heck not? Here it is. You can clearly hear me screaming ore for Suisse. Which clearly happened there and someone beside me literally looked at me. I was like, they were like, huh? Okay, calm down, dude. <laughs> like, you could clearly tell that I was definitely screaming for Suisei's dear life. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually pretty interesting though. And then continuing on, and then Orida! And then she, and then he got picked. And I was like, still not me. Calling out ultimately strong players. Basically, they're calling out gachi players. Gachi players, technically the term for serious. So basically, gachi players, which basically I'm uh, Indonesia gachi player. 
So basically, I scream Oriwa Gajida! That's basically what I said. But then, um, expectations were definitely on the low side. Well, that's a Sukombu, by the way. So mission failed and I did not get picked. Oh, this is the guy who disrespected, uh, you know, Suisei just now. And then, uh, he beat Suisei. Dang. <laughs> and then try to apologize to Suisei. No congratulations for you. That's what Suisei said. <laughs> My bad. Could you imagine, though? Could you actually imagine? If I were there, me, either Ami or, me or Ami was there, like, if, no, no. Ami is a Nihonjin. If I was there getting picked... Would it be the history that the first time an Indonesian player would be the first one to ever play against a Hall member and one time that one of them beat them? Remember this, there's no other, no other, there, there's no, there's no such thing as Indonesian Puyo player except me. I am the only Indonesian Puyo Pro player to ever exist in Indonesia. Only me. The rest of the Indonesian players are mostly technically Tetris players, but the only Indonesian Puyo player to ever exist on this Earth, planet Earth, is only me. The only one. It would create history. So yeah, it would be absolutely amazing if I were to if I were to fight Suisse on that, if, bruh, like, I want to see who will win, my Puyo Pro skills or Suisse's, uh, godly Tetris abilities. Who will win? Honestly, I might lose, honestly, because, you know, my hands would be trembling in, like, complete, like, you know, my hands would be trembling in complete nervousness. For being absolutely nervous, and I will intentionally and unintentionally lose. Let's face the fact: I will lose because I'm my hands were gonna be sh shaking in fear because I'm fighting my Oshi. Let let that sink in. Like you can clearly tell that I was there. Like look at my webcam, by the way. I was clearly there. Of course, you know. Just my initial reaction and I Ami's mean, initial reaction of how it how it goes. That is just bullcrap, bro. How did Fubuki outlive this nonsense? Look at that! She was already dead in Puyo Puyo and she still was able to continue. How is that possible? Of course, I'm gonna say sheer dumb luck. Sheer dumb luck does exist. <laughs> That's literally it. And then Fubuki lost that battle. How in the world did <laughs> Shirakami Fubuki survive that? I, I don't know. Sure dumb luck is a concept in this game. But thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you have enjoyed that whole video session. It's just a special that I a special thing that I really want to do after being at the Hall Expo. I hope you all you all also, whoever's at the Hall Expo as well, and whoever's watching it, like via online and of course like in Jakarta where they have the cinema full of Hall fans in Indonesia and I think another one was in Korea the exact same thing it's just different different type whoever watched like the whole thing thank you all so much hope you have enjoyed the whole party and the whole life fifth fest I surely did and it was a blast I even created new friends you basically saw my video that I created I made some Nihonjin Tomodachi you know what I'm saying but hope you guys have enjoyed today's video session ladies and gentlemen rush to like and subscribe ring bell button to get notified by coming video streams and come content leave it in the comment section below of like a what if if I were to fight Suisse okay for, forget Fubuki for now because my OC is Suisei. If I were to fight Suisei, would my Puyo Puyo Pro in like my Puyo Puyo Pro skills will win against Suisei's godly Tetris skills? Who will win? That's like a what if moment because you know, 
I mean, I created a lot of Puyo Puyo videos and streams for a living on my channel, and I'm really grateful because this is my favorite game of all time. Puyo Puyo is basically my favorite games and f game franchise of all time from Sega. Like, I know Sonic is the, basically the icon of Sega, but the thing is, out of all the puzzle games from Sega, basically Puyo Puyo is the pinnacle of my true number one puzzle game that I, that I love. And I would like to see more soon enough in the future that what will happen? Like, will they create a new game right after Puzzle Pop from the Apple Arcade? Be who knows? Because Apple Arcade's Puzzle Pop needs to be successful if they want to have like a, you know, a port to Android or to basically be to have the next game to be like uh, revealed. Because if Puzzle Pop does not do well that would be like the that if puzzle pop does not do well it would mark the pinnacle despair for puyo puyo it would be the end if puzzle pop do not do well but at but i digress though i believe that puzzle pop does have a potential if it puzzle pop has a potential if it moves to if there's an ac accessibility for android devices which is basically what i've always used but anyway, so yeah, leave it in the comment section below of the what if, who will win if I were to basically get picked by Suisei? Who will win, me or her? But with that being said, thanks so much for watching us and I'll see you all next time on the next video of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Who knows what will happen? It's endless possibility that I could really, I really love this game. It's the endless possibility that I create some more projects about this, like video concepts. And then some, you know, character showcase. If they create, if they update this game and then still have some new character, yeah, update this game, new characters, I would showcase them with a heartbeat like I did back then. It was a fun experience. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Peace.